Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Quad Drag Functions Lesson Number 9, Modeling with Quad Drag Functions Home Review Part 2. If you haven't had a chance to, please watch Part 1 for some of the important parts of, again, how we determine which parts of our, uh, how to determine how, uh, which parts of our, uh, of our, of our parabola we're going to be using to help solve for the problem. All right? Bacteria tends to grow very fast in a petri dish at first because of unlimited food, and then begin to die out due to competition. In a certain culture, the number of bacteria is given by n squared equals, n of t, sorry, n of t equals neg, t, neg 2 t squared plus 92 t plus 625, where t represents the hours since 625 bacteria were introduced to a petri dish. Determine the maximum number of bacteria that occur in the dish. Well, from the last problem, remember, the maximum number of, of, uh, Bacteria would mean a maximum with, because of the fact that their parabola looks like this of the negative a is less than zero. All right, we know in this case it's facing downwards. Okay, and the maximum is going to occur at the vertex. So we use our axis symmetry, which means we need to find our a value, our b value, and our c value. A value is neg 2, b value is 92, and our c value is 625. And so the number of bacteria will, in this case, occur, maximum occurs at t equals negative b over 2a. So we see here that we plug in our b value of 92 and our a value of neg 2. We're going to get neg 92 divided by neg 4, which gives a positive value. And so now we're going to, to take 92 divided by 4, and get 23. Now, 23 really means 23 seconds. That's going to be, or oh, hours, so hours, not, not seconds, hours. Our time use are hours. That means that we had the maximum number of bacteria in the Petri dish at 23 hours. To figure out now, determine the maximum number, though, the maximum number of bacteria, well, we now need to plug in 23 into our function. So we'll find n of 23. So negative 2 times 23 squared plus 92 times 23 plus 625, the initial value. So let's calculate this, shall we? So we have 23 squared is 529 times negative 2 is negative 1058. And then 92 times 23 is 2,116. And so now we're going to combine 2,116 by negative 1,058. And we get, well, nice, negative 1,000, so positive 1,058 plus 625 means no bacteria in the Petri dish, the maximum bacteria in the Petri dish, will be 1,683 bacteria. This is the max number of bacteria. Okay. Now, number seven is a little bit uh, long problem here. So we see a tennis ball is thrown upwards from the top of a 30-foot high building. Its height in feet above the ground, t seconds after it's thrown, is given by h of t, h, of e, h equals negative 16t squared plus 80t plus 30. Algebra determine the time when the tennis ball reaches its greatest height, and what is that height? And again, we see in this case that we want to find the maximum height, especially since our a value is negative, we'll use the axis symmetry. So a equals negative 16, b equals 80, and c equals 30. And so axis symmetry, we use t equals negative b over 2a, which in this case will be negative neg 16. Oh, sorry, negative b is 80. <laughs> sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So negative 80 over 2 times neg 16. So we have 80 over 32, which we can divide both by 8. So we get 10 over 4 or 2.10 over 4, which is 
So we had our maximum height uh, reached at after 2.5 seconds. That's the time when the ball reaches the maximum height. But now we have to find the maximum the maximum height. So we're going to now plug that into our height. So height is equal to negative 16, 2.5 squared plus 80 times 2.5 plus 30. And so 2.5 squared becomes 6.25. So next 16 times 6.25, we get negative 100. Okay, plus 80 times 2.5, is positive 100 plus 30 and so we see in this case negative 100 plus 200 is 100 plus 30 is 130 feet and this is our maximum height okay 130 feet maximum height and we see in this case that what we're going to do is we're going to later on now it says use our calculator to to uh to sketch a graph here all right uh showing the ball's height all times okay so a couple of things in this case so i'm grabbing a graphing calculator but i'm gonna lay off the sketching until later on but i'll just show you what it's gonna be so we have here uh negative 16 t squared negative 16 x squared we'll say in this case x, x squared plus 80x and i believe it's plus 30. okay and now so what we're going to do is we're going to if we graph this right now it'll look like this and you can't really see much though so instead we're going to change our window because our window will be from starting from zero because we're not going to go back in time and We'll set for maybe seven. Oops, sorry. Our x min is, is zero, and our x max will make seven. All right. And from here, what we'll do is we'll hit zoom, and we're going to go to zoom fit. Basically, fitting the graph into the uh, picture here. So zoom zero, really. All right. So we know here it lands somewhere over here. All right. So it's sort of that's our sketch here, okay? And if we actually cut back further, maybe instead setting it to six here, change our window to the max of six, okay? And hit zoom zero. All right? We see a little better picture. And so notice that the very height is about two point five, okay? So it's a it's a parabola, definitely starting, and we're starting at the height of of thirty. So that's the idea here. So. So it says here in this case, we want to label information found part A, okay? So the information found part A is really gonna be that when T equals zero, we're starting at 30. At 2.5 seconds, we're at 130 feet as a maximum height, okay? And so, yeah, so this is gonna be 2.5 comma 30, all right? 130, actually, 130. And this, of course, is 0, comma 30, all right? And it's going to look kind of kind of like, uh, like this here. And coming back, coming down at somewhere over here because it's parabola. We don't know what the when it reaches a, a zero though. So our next part says use a zero command on your calculator. Determine the amount of time the ball stays in the air. Round yes to the nearest tenth of a second and label this on your graph in part A. So our zero command really is going to be second calc choice two of zero. Now what we want to do is bring our cursor close to the point of intersection. There's no zero when negative wise because we you know go back in time. So we see only one zero here. All right. And I'm gonna hit enter. You can get close if you want to. I can get close if you want to. Hit enter on this side. 
Hit enter on this side. All right, so we have left side and right side bound. We know the points in between. Hit enter, and it will guess for us our zero occurs at 5.350. Okay, so 5.350 seconds. So it says here around 5.35, so 5.4. So we say about, in this case, about 5.4 seconds. So T is approximately 5.4 seconds when it reaches ground. So 5.4 is somewhere over here, close to 5.5. And so it'll look like this. Okay. And so it's in the air for about 5.4 seconds. Now, the ball can be seen from the ground whenever it, whenever it is at a height at least 100 feet. Okay. Graphically determined interval of time can be seen shown. Show that work. So if I was to draw a horizontal line at 100 feet, It looks like, based upon my, my sketch here, that it would be somewhere here and here. Now, what we can do is we can do the same thing on a graphing calculator. So it looks like 1.5 maybe-ish or maybe less, no, or 4 point something. So we're going to find a graphing calculator. We're going to do the same exact thing. Okay, y equals, and so y2, we're going to do 100 here, and graph this. We're going to see where the graph crosses, the two graphs cross. We're going to use something called intersect. Second calc, choice 5, which is intersect, and I'm going to move the cursor over. Well, I'm closer to the right side array, so it's okay. So I'll do this first. So all I'm going to do is bring this closer here, and hit enter three times, 1 two, three. And it looks like at 3.869, so it looks like in this case, so 3.869, we'll say in this case 3.869, we round off a little later. And now we want to do this again, second calc, choice five, and now we'll bring this over to the other side. Okay, it kind of looks like in this case a 1.09, so we hit enter once, twice, three times, 1.13. 1 1.13, 1 1.1306, what more, really, 1.131, okay. And so we go back to our problem here, and it says here, uh, graph determine the ball when to see, show your work. So when can the ball be seen? We will say the ball can be seen The ball can be seen between the times of, and I'm going to round this to, um, I guess, the nearest tenth of a second. So we'll say 1.1 seconds, between 1.1 seconds and, and 3.9 seconds. Okay. And there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll make this full page here. And this is the end of our Algebra 2 quadratic functions, lesson number 9, modeling quadratic functions, home review. If you found this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe to the channel if you have done this already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video for the last question.